Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and my how to tutorial series. This time around we are talking about time lapse and how simple yet difficult it is to try and figure out how to do, how to make it, how to create it into a video and how to not make mistakes. Previously on this series I have gone through cinematic camera, I have gone through the hotkeys like a control set for undo, control y to redo, uh, we have had the tab and the uh, camera angle situation, we have gone all this through before. You should be familiar with these by now, so I'm not gonna repeat myself. What a time lapse is when something happens frame by frame, and we can go, you can see a little bit here when I just press undo here with my hotkeys that things change, things go away. What I do is I have gone through this frame by frame, I have built wall by wall, to, like it's. I have gone through all this effort already to decide what room I'm making and painting all on it and decided the windows, the doorway, everything. I have already gone through the difficult part. And now I'm gonna talk you through. Um, I have locked down the camera angle where I want to take all the pictures on with my tap camera. And remember Twisted Max's uh, free build cam mod? Go and get that, because you can't go back and forth with the undo redo if you keep flipping between uh, live mode and build mode. If you go to live mode from build mode, you lose redo undo, it just resets completely. So if you have done all this effort and you go to live mode, okay, I need the tap camera now, you, you can't do redo undo anymore. Remember that. That's why I recommend the build mode, uh, the build mode, the free camera mod, whatever it is called anymore. I forgot what it is. I'm sorry, but I live for that mod. Taking pictures is so much easier. I don't need to always move a family into the house and everything like. I don't need to go through the effort anymore, so to speak. So it's way easier for me to take pictures and decide the weather by myself and everything without any issues. We have gotten to this point, and we need to start choosing on. The furniture and someone was asking me how do you build a time lapse without making mistakes well you don't you do make mistakes i have come across a thought in my own head though that i do have my favorite items that i like to go back to all the time over and over i go back to some certain items which are for example this parenthood uh, counter. Also island living counter. I do also enjoy the base game modern uh, contemporary counter. Very lovely, very nice. Uh, sometimes for very specific colors I go for this, uh, is it um, cool kitchen, whatever pack it was. I have no idea anymore what it's called, but with the ice cream cone picture. Um, but I don't know, I haven't actually thought about what style of a kitchen I'm doing. I have the Realm of Magic windows. I don't know. I'm gonna go with a little bit more traditional, I think. And I have a feeling that I'm gonna go with the lightest, lightest counter. That's just what works for me. So I'm gonna go with those. And I don't have move objects on right now. So it doesn't matter if you're doing time lapse you don't need to have move objects on okay so you can build with this even without it it doesn't matter it's like any other building as well so now i would need to choose a stove and i have favorite stoves as well i love these two stoves i love the jungle jungle adventure and the parenthood stoves so so much um sometimes if i need a better one i just pick the base game regular one, but for the sake of it, I'm gonna 
I am zooming the colors a little bit like so. I'm not making decision straight away. I don't plop it down and look at it. I just can put my mouse on there and looking like, okay, it works. It's fine. Then I need a fridge and I have a few favorite fridges as well. I use a classic modern fridge a lot, a lot, a lot. I also use the Freezer Burn Be Gone fridge and also the base game, this one. And I'll show you in a second why. It matches relatively well here. I don't think it had white version. No, it has a golden golden railings on it. I don't like that, so I'm gonna keep it away. Then I would need to go and choose... Oh, this is, this is actually interesting. I can't put it under the edge here. Is there a reason why I can't? I've never paid attention to this before. You might need to goof a bit with this, so I'm gonna put it count there, a cabinet, and then I'm gonna see if I can... There is a spot, there is a sweet spot there, so I can, uh, by alt, holding alt, I can put it there, and it is, it is a little off, but it's not, it's not hugely off, so it'll work. What I looked there was to get it on the same level as the cabinet here. So I wanted it to match that. And on top of stove I always put a little smaller cabinet. And here, if I'm not wrong, yep, this fridge is short enough so you can put a cabinet on top of it. A full size one that is, not the small one, which makes it so much nicer. Then I'm thinking that we might want to put a, uh, what are these, stove hoof, uh, hoods, yeah, hood. Um, I'm thinking of this one because the rest are a little modern. Yeah, the rest are not really that nice. So I'm gonna put that there, it'll work just fine. And every once in a while you can just return to your camera angle and see, have you done something in an angle that the screenshot won't show. Okay. So technically what I do is I build the whole build ready. And then I undo the whole thing. And then come back one frame at a time and take a picture of it. Let me show you. Let's undo this whole kitchen. We have we have this situation going on. We start with this. And on this angle, I press a C, and it'll take a picture. And for me, the screenshots go to literally in my Sims and screenshot folder. So I can find them from there. And this way, if I undo and then I start redoing, like for now I would press a Y, then I go back to the tab camera and a 9. This is a next picture, you know? So every time I redo, I can take a picture and I can be sure that that picture is the next one. And I don't need to go and uh, change the order in my files or while I'm editing. So this way I am technically shortening my work effort quite a lot actually and it makes the biggest difference in my opinion that everything is in order i can rename them straight away like i can rename rename every single picture of these a kitchen and the windows is smart enough and gives me the uh, kitchen one kitchen two kitchen three so i know the order from there as well so i don't need to worry that I put them in a the wrong order or whatever else. So this is literally the, the situation that you do. <laughs> it's very exciting, isn't it? You're very excited to do one of these now, aren't you? Um, it, it is slow. It is. It, it requires a lot of patience from you. No, <laughs> no lie. Like it, it is. 
it is perfect for those who get easily motion sick, like me. Um, when I was doing regular speed builds, I couldn't finish editing my speed build videos because I got so motion sick. It sounds ridiculous, but it's relatively sad, actually. And um, I couldn't do anything about it. I, I just couldn't make myself to edit my videos all in a one go because I just couldn't handle it. It was the most ridiculous feeling I've ever had in my life. Like, it was so gross to feel that nauseous for watching your own video. I, I can't even explain it in any other way. It, it was just the most stupid thing. And right here, I'm now actually looking at a chair. I'm still a little bit like trying to build in this in this regular corner here. Remember where my camera angle is locked onto the cinematic camera. And I'm looking for chairs that could work for this color scheme. And I just chose this couch because I think the valid, the just the first color was really good. It has blue on it. It has a little bit orange on it and whatever, which are a little bit on the like a bluish, yellowish are on the style there. And now I realize that there is actually this jungle adventures chairs that have yellow as well. And it's pretty cool. I think they fit pretty well together. These are the little revelations when you actually have to think and look through these items instead of hurrying for a speed build video. You can actually make the most silly yet the most lovely decisions for your own build. Like when I was doing speed builds, I was rushing because I knew I was recording, but also because I knew I was so slow at building that it'll take me so long to edit, it'll be multiple parts and the one part would be at least 30 minutes long anyway. So it wasn't, I, I wasn't enjoying my own videos, which was a sign for me that, okay, I need to do, I need to change something about this, this is not working. And this is when I realized, oh yeah, time lapse is a thing. I can do these. These are really, really good. I can do these. These, these are excellent, excellent variation of what I can go for instead. And don't forget that this place here have the, the island living counters didn't have a cabinet per se, but they do have these little cupboards on the displays and they are absolutely stunning. They're so cute. Don't don't forget them. They're so cute. I love them so much. They're absolutely adorable. And if you dare to say that they are nasty, then shame on you. <laughs> I love them so much. They're so fabulous. Now I'm building in a corner that shouldn't be, you know, built right now because it'll be on front of everything. So try to remember and build in a area that shows first. Everything that's on these walls is um, basically the last and secondary importance. They're not the priority one walls, but I'll just do them anyway now. And now that I have moved my camera a little bit here, it lets me again display the back wall without getting the shelf on top of, in front of my screen here. In average, if I do even a two bedroom home, it's average of uh, 500 screenshots. So if you're gonna do time lapses, you need to actually uh, think forward and have very organized screenshot folder. You need to know where your screenshots go and make sure when you're doing this that the quality of the screenshots is stunning. I don't really know what else to tell you about this. Uh, it's very very simple once you do it. It's not something you need to worry about, in my opinion. It's um, okay. For, for example, here I see I made a mistake straight away, so I need to undo that. And I'm gonna need to rethink where I put this island. So I'm straight away undoing it because I was not happy with it. But I can do a little island here in the middle, so taking some space. And I think I can add a some um, sort of a 
island chair here as well. So that could be pretty cool, right? I don't know if a... Okay, so it's in the wrong spot anyway. Even with the move objects, it would have been now in the middle of the island. So I can't put a uh, pillar in there. It would have been pretty cool to put a pillar up from there. But we can live without it. Now we can change the lights because we have the lights, we have the furniture done. So we can now think, you know, what kind of a light do we want in this house? What, what, what do we want? And I think this orange one would be really cool because we have some orange here. So we can delete one of these lights. I think this will go. And you can see that it got a little dark straight away. So uh, at least in Finland, we have these lights under our top cabinets, we have like um, these, I don't know what you call these, these lights, <laughs> I have no idea what they're called, but we have these, and I realize now also that I didn't put a sink, so I'm gonna put a sink in there, and I'm a person who doesn't have a sink right next to a stove, but I do have it quite often next to a fridge, which is not common exactly either. So if I would have made this room a little bit bigger originally, I could have bought a regular island in here and put the uh, sink here, but here we are. And this is what we are going to do. You see how the brain just starts to uh, work out what you could have done and what you haven't done. So you just need to let it work things out by itself and just deal with it. So just let it think and you just continue with what you are doing. And if you want to change something, you can change it. But then it would require you to uh, scrap whole build the bare bones and then start doing it again. You know, it's really, really tough. I don't know. I think we are done here. I think we are pretty good. I'm very minimalistic anyway when it comes to... Uh, clutter and stuff like that we could consider putting like um, I don't know let's see what we have here some of these items that are actually in kitchen miscellaneous decorations they have nothing to do with the kitchen so they're really annoying but we could put a fruit bowl over there okay I'm not sure if sims actually use these corner pieces to cook in that often but that's what they have for cooking now so they better use those and with no move objects on, the items take very specific spots. Like with an M, you can change their spot on. Like if you want to put the item on a table, but you can't get it exactly on the right spot, so you can try with an M letter if it actually is a spot designed on the counter for it anyway. Like, for example, on the kitchen table, like the dining table, you can see the spots that are available for the item now that I had chosen. But there was already a flower there, so it was like, okay, so there's one more, but I it couldn't move from that spot on anymore. I think I'm pretty happy. What it comes down to is just training, training, training. You need to keep on training and you need to re redoing things. And remember, no jumping between live and build mode because you lose everything that you have done. You can't redo undo on that moment. So remember that. that that's the key. Get the mod so you can do the cinematic camera in build mode just so you don't lose the progress. And when you're training or learning this, it's even more vital so you don't get annoyed beyond that you have failed or something okay what did i miss did i miss something i'm not sure but you can find cinematic camera controls and hotkeys and every other some such on my previous episodes on this series so go and check that out um this is how i do my time lapses I built the house uh, or the room in this now and I think we had I'm not sure what did we finish it up until this point so I can now finish it up basically to 
take the pictures till the end and show you right now for example like on this spot i would show you how i have edited this if you are unfamiliar with editing i can't help you much with that as i am just as clueless as you are i have just started editing with low effects so i don't know much myself and that tells a lot how much this kind of a recording requires from your skills doesn't it um what i literally do is i i record with the obs and i edit with premiere pro you can do and use whatever you want but i am sure that every editing program lets you to drag your pictures in order onto the timeline mine are usually second long you can shorten that as well it's not necessary to be that long uh, but i keep my videos a little bit more calm so no one suffers of anything and people see the teeny tiniest changes like me putting the fruit bowl over there. It's not something that someone would realize straight away until they have the time to, you know, process the picture. So you don't need to rush in these. The video is going to be short anyway. But anyway, uh, what I do is just put the videos on the timeline, uh, videos, the pictures on the timeline, uh, put them second long, and then just basically export. That's all I need to do. There's no anything fancy, nothing, no, no speed up, no short, like, you know, you don't need to do anything fancy about it ever. You just put the videos up and if you have done some sort of um, kinematic camera movement, remember to record that separate and add that on the video. You see that quite often on, on my cinematic camera tours on the build tours that I use the cinematic camera just to show off the build I don't show any of the building because nowadays I'm so busy that I need to take me freaking time to build anything and that's why the less I have time-lapse videos now on my channel but I am trying to bring them back whenever I can these take a really long time you can't rush these take your time Everything's gonna be okay. Remember to train, don't get frustrated, just keep on repeating what you have learned and, you know, don't be so harsh on yourself. I'm sure a lot of you are looking at this like, what the heck were you thinking? But I think it's really cute, Kitchen. I think it's really nice. And what I indeed, I said about it earlier is that I can take my time to wonder if I like to add something extra. And I have my time to go back and forth like, okay, I didn't like that. Would I like this flower more? No, <laughs> definitely not. So let's put this one instead. I don't like this flower either. Actually, I'm just gonna, no. The less is more in my mind. The less is more. So this is what I did. This is what I think is really cute. This is what I would edit and would put up on my channel and I would pray that some of you would like it. Let me know any questions, any comments down below. Did I forget something? Did I not link the camera mod? I keep forgetting to do that, my bad. Um, anything, questions, I'll try to answer the best quality I can. So let me know. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining. I'll see you in the next video. Happy semen. Bye-bye.